Hi guys, welcome back. Welcome to the FSX404 channel. Today we're going to do an approach into Rio de Janeiro, the Santa Dumont Airport. We're going to do the GPS runway 02. Now, I'm only going to do an abbreviated approach plate briefing because by this time all of you guys should know how to do this. And if any of you doesn't, just go to my 10 most extreme series videos and I do full approach briefings over there and you'll see how to do it. For this one, I'm just going to do the important part of this approach, which is going to be the last part. Now, uh, just to go over this approach plate really quick, we're going to be coming from Santa Cruz VOR, uh, we're going to be going to Malé, we're going to be descending to 5,000 feet, from Malé to Afon, Afon to Bana, Bana to Dina, and then we do a visual into Santa Dumont. In Malé, we're going to be at 5,000 feet, and then uh, we're going to do a step down descent to 4,300 for Afon, and then down to 2,500 for Bana, and then uh, down to Dina, which is 1,300, which is also our minimum descent altitude, or the MDA, and at no point we should go below that MDA. However, uh, the last part of this approach is actually visual, and this is one of those circle to land approaches. And in this case, because the runway is so short, and because the approach is so dangerous, there's a specific way they do visual approaches into Santa Dumont. Uh, from Point Dina, we're actually going to head to this low beach, to just south of the airport. We're going to maintain above 1,300 at this point. Uh, there's going to be buildings, there's going to be mountains in the way. We're going to maintain visual separation from all those, and we're going to head out to this low beach. Once we're over the beach, that's when we're going to start our turn onto the final. Now this turn is going to be a pretty steep turn. It's going to be about 25 to 30 degree bank turn onto the final. Over the beach we should be at about 1,000 feet and as we're turning as we're turning out we should be at about 7 to 800 feet as we're rolling out on final and that should put us right where we need to be on that final approach. We're going to do our best to roll out on that final approach lined up with the runway but if we're not we're going to make small adjustments. The last thing to remember about this approach is that the runway is very short so we do want to touch down as soon as we can. The runway is only about 4,300 feet, which is very short when you're trying to land a big airliner onto it. So we need to touch down as soon as we can. For this approach, we're going to use the iFly Boeing 737-700. We're going to pick up this approach just a few miles before Dina, and we're going to start our approach there. And I'm just going to show the circle to land part for this approach. So let's get inside this airplane. Let's fly this approach. Alright guys, we're inside the airplane right now, we're flying towards the point Dina, we are descending to 1300 minimum descent altitude, but in this case, we're going to keep it above that, um, uh, just for obstacle clearance, when we make a right turn to the beach. As you can see, the day is pretty clear, and you need a pretty clear day to do the GPS runway 2 approach into Santa Dumont. There are actually mountains to our right, so we're going to head out until we get past them. Alright, at this point we have visual of the runway, so we are go for a landing. As we get closer to Point Dina, let's start our turn towards the beach. Now, we're going to start this right turn, and we're going to head out for some buildings that we're going to be able to see. Specifically, we're going to head out for that tallest building in front of us. At this point, you guys can see that tallest building. We're just going to head our airplane and head towards there. As we overfly this hill in front of us, we're going to be able to see the beach. To the left is a runway, and that's where we're going to land. So as we're flying over this hills, let's put flaps down 20 degrees. Let's put the landing gear down. Approaching minimums. minimums. Our airspeed is good, our altitude is good. 1,000. Once we're over the beach, we should be at about 1,000 feet uh, MSL. Alright, there's the tallest building, we see it. 1,000. There's the beach right underneath us. Let's start that sharp left turn. Now this turn is going to be about 30 degree bank turn. Let's maintain, let's keep that turn in there. We're about 1,000 feet right over the beach. 1,000. Let's keep that turn going. Make sure we don't slow down too much. Keep it in there 25 to 30 degrees. 
last notch of flaps down alright there's the runways in front of us we're actually gonna land on the right runway that's a longer runway and our altitude is good our airspeed is good we overshot it a little bit so we're gonna keep that turn in we're gonna get it right over the center line and we're gonna aim for the beginning of the runway that's a very important part we need to land at the beginning of the runway there's no room for error Down, center line, reverse thrusters, and that wasn't too bad. Anyway, let's take a look at the flight path, and after the flight path, let's take a look at the outside view. Hey guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. One hundred. Fifty, forty, thirty, twenty, ten.